Welcome back to another episode of the In Demand Hairstylist Podcast. I am so excited that you're here today. I have a topic that I want to talk to you guys about that is a little off the beaten path of what we typically talk, talk about on the podcast. So, you know, typically I love to come and bring, you know, some sort of strategy, some sort of step-by-step -step way of doing things, something around organization, building your business, building your career. Um, but today I want to shift gears just a little bit and talk to you guys as if I was sitting right in front of you, right? Chatting with you about what your biggest goals are, chatting with you about where you're really getting hung up and where you're really getting challenged in your career right now. And so it's just going to be real talk today because this is a conversation that I've had to have with myself. Um, and it's also a conversation that I believe is not had enough in our industry and in social media. And what I want to talk to you guys about today is anticipating the struggle. And like I said, most of the time, the things that we are fed through social media are strategies, our blueprints, our pathways to success, right? Um, we're being sold to all the time the, um, the product that will help you get to where you want to go. And we are painted this picture that like all you have to do is step one, two, three, a, B, C, and you'll be able to achieve this result. You'll be able to get to where you're going. You'll be able to be successful, right? But what these strategies, what these blueprints, frameworks, every everything that's out there, you guys, what they don't teach you is to anticipate the struggle that even though you may have a way, you may have absorbed information or learned something new to get you from point A to point, P, point B that does not eliminate the struggle. That does not mean that you won't be up against some challenges and some setbacks. They do not insert that into the framework. Like all you need to do is step A do that and then you're gonna probably mess up and you're gonna have a point like where you're down here, but then you just do point B. And then you're gonna have like a failure, a failure, a failure, but then all you have to do then is get to point C. So it's like they leave that out of the strategy, of the framework, and it's a real part of it. The struggle is part of the strategy. There will be challenges, there will be setbacks, there will be struggle in the strategy. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about today. Because I'll tell you one thing, success comes much easier and much faster when you anticipate the struggles. When you get hit the worst, when you're um, stuck in the mud is what I'll call it because I've experienced these moments. When you get stuck, it's because you weren't anticipating that challenge. You weren't anticipating the struggle. It's like it comes out of nowhere. You weren't expecting it. And I think the more that we can look ahead at where we're going and think about our bigger goals and think about what could possibly come up. What are the challenges that I might be up against? What could potentially happen? And some of you might hear this and think, well, that's really negative. Isn't that negative thinking? No. Businesses, companies, multi-million dollar companies do this all the time. They strategize for the challenges. They think about and anticipate the, the setbacks that they're going to have. Companies do this all the time, yet we as, as individuals, when we're going after something, are shocked and surprised when things get hard, when things get challenging. We think that it's supposed to be easy. We think we're supposed to just be able to get to point A to point B with nothing in the way, no obstructions, <laughs> no challenges. 
We anticipate that it's just smooth sailing. That's what we're being um, taught. That's what we're being delivered. That's what we're being sold to, that it's, it's easy. And you guys, it's not easy. The struggle is real. And I, I, can't, I can't continue without saying this too, is that there are a lot of people out there who will talk about ease and flow and that it doesn't have to be hard. We're, we're, you know, it gets to be easy. And there's an element of truth to that, but there's an element of untruth to that as well. Sometimes we are so stubborn that we keep running into the same brick wall over and over, and we make it mean that we suck, that we're not good enough, that I guess it's just not supposed to be. You know, we, we make things harder sometimes than they need to be because of our own stubbornness, our own egos. Sometimes we are, you know, running in the wrong lane, right? We're, we're up against the water, like we're running upstream and it doesn't have to be that hard. Sometimes all we need to do is pivot, but we're too stubborn to pivot to change, to listen to what someone's telling us, to adjust, to pick ourselves back up after a failure and keep going where we're unwilling to do those things. So we do sometimes make it more challenging than it needs to be. However, some people think that and some people teach that all you need to do is be in flow with yourself and take action and listen to your intuition. In fact, I have taught this in the past and I do think there's an element of truth to it that you should listen to gut nudges and intuition. I absolutely believe that. But just because you're listening to your gut, following your intuition, doing what feels right, following your passion does not mean that you will not experience struggles and challenges. It's actually the opposite. If you're being called to something, more than likely, you're going to be hit with challenges and struggles. That's how you know you're on the right path, is that you're experiencing challenges and struggles. How boring of a victory would it be when you finally get to where you're going and it was like this, smooth sailing the whole way there. The victory is sweet because of what you learn and experience along the way. And so many of us are trying to avoid pain, avoid failure, that we will never reach what we're called to do, what we're, um, what our expanded version of ourselves, what our true potential is, because we're so busy avoiding failure and pain and struggle. You guys, failure, pain, struggle, part of it. And in the valley, in the pain, in the struggle, you guys, there's blessings. I was reminded of this this weekend. Um, Anticipate the struggle. There will be crappy points that you hit where you really start to doubt yourself and you really start to think, am I even on the right path? Am I even doing the right thing? But know that in those moments, there's also blessings. There's like little, little um, clues that are dropped to us that we get to absorb along the way that, that give us a way to get to the next level, to pick ourselves back up, to shift or pivot. It gives us a clue to like what we can learn on this pathway to where we're going. There's blessings in the valley there's blessings in the valley okay remember that and when as long as we're will like um we're so committed to avoiding the valleys in our in our path to success you're gonna stay exactly where you're at and where you're at may be good some of you may have experienced some challenges before and got to a place where you're actually pretty comfortable and you just are comfortable there and you're, you, you don't kind of want to go through some of the, the valleys so that so you stay exactly where you're at. You stay stagnant and you stop growing 
because you get comfortable. Some of you may be in that place, but some of you may be in the place where you haven't even gotten started because you're so, you've seen somebody else fail and you go, oh my God, I don't want to experience that. <laughs> I don't want to have to go through that. So you stay exactly where you're at. And then you get bored or you are not as successful or you're not making the money that you want to make and you decide, well, I can't do this. I guess I need to shift and go somewhere else. But the, the truth of the matter is you are going to run into this no matter if you give up and do something else. I promise you, you're going to run into the same thing. And the thing that stops you here is the thing that's going to stop you everywhere. The point where you give up here is exactly where you'll give up at the next place that you think it's going to be easier and better. So the struggle, guys, anticipate it. It's going to happen. It's part of the strategy. It's part of the blueprint. It's part of all the information that you have, the course that you took. Just because you have a course doesn't mean it's not going to be hard. Doesn't mean you're not going to experience setbacks. Doesn't mean that you're not going to struggle with self-confidence. Just because you have the knowledge doesn't mean you're going to not automatically be confident about it. Confidence comes from implementing what you know and taking action on it. And inevitably, when you take action, there's the potential for failure. It's just how it is. So it's not the struggle. It's not the failure. It's how you respond to these things. It's how you anticipate it and how you respond. So this is the most valuable thing that I can really teach you because here's the thing, I don't know your struggle. I don't know where you're at. I don't know what your goal is. But all I know is that no matter what your goal is, there's gonna be a struggle. And depending on what your goal is, is gonna determine what your struggle may, might be. Your struggle might be that you're gonna have people who don't like you because of what you're doing. Your struggle might be that people disagree with you. Your struggle might be that people don't believe in you. Your struggle might be that someone might get mad at you. Your struggle is when you can take a step back and anticipate some of the things that might happen. So this is the best thing that I can teach you is, I want you to think right now with me, think about the thing that you are really working towards right now. Think about the thing that you are really desiring, the big goal that you have. I want you to think about that. Now I want you to think about what are the things that might get in my way? What are the things that could potentially disempower me? What are the things that might make me doubt myself? What are the things that could happen that really will take me out, right? Knock me down. What are these things that could potentially happen? So I'll just bring it, I'll bring it down for you guys on, um, and give you an example. So let's just say, for example, that you've been working behind the chair for a few years and you, um, see people who are niching down and making a lot of money doing that and you really want to do it but you're afraid right you're afraid that you are gonna lose out on money lose out on clients you're not even fully booked as it is but you're really wanting to do this this service because you're super passionate about it it's the thing you love doing the most it's it's the it's where you bring the most value and you know you want to um make this the thing that you do, that you specialize, that you niche down into, but you're scared. What are the things that could potentially get in your way? One of those things is that you might disappoint your current clients who you have to shift to somebody else. Okay, so when you anticipate that and know that that could very likely happen, there could be a client who gets upset that you're no longer doing just haircut clients. There is there might be a haircut client that loves coming to you and they and they're disappointed. It's a it's a real thing that could happen. But when you anticipate that and you think, OK, how can I best handle this? Well, maybe I can start talking about what I'm 
getting educated on right now, what I'm working on, where I want to take my career, what my goals are. When I share this with people, they're going to understand a little bit better why I'm making this shift and why I'm changing. So maybe I'll just start talking to my clients about it. And then when that does happen and I do have to shift, if that client is upset or if I do have a client who's upset, what could I possibly do? Well, maybe ahead of time, I can have a few stylists who are experts at haircutting, that love haircutting, that I can refer them to where they're gonna get an exceptional experience still and that I feel comfortable recommending them to. So if you have these strategies ahead of time and you think and you've thought about this and you play out the scenarios in your head and you find solutions for them, you guys, it's not as shocking when the struggle comes. You anticipated it. You knew this was going to happen. You anticipated it and you have also planned for it and you've planned for the the um, the solution. So it's not like this big thing that knocks you down. It's the thing that you you knew was coming and you can navigate through it and continue to move forward. Do you see when we don't take time to anticipate the struggle and know that we're gonna be hit against some things, what happens is it hits a lot harder and we get stuck for a lot longer and we have to like really muster up the motivation and the energy to keep moving forward because we got knocked down so far because we weren't even thinking about that. I'll give you a personal example, you guys. I have a, I, I, for 14 years, I had a brick and mortar salon, a business that was very successful, profitable, an amazing business. It grew every single year, 20% growth year over year. I mean, it just grew, you guys. It was easy for me. And this business grew. I grew a team. I eventually sold this business for multiple six figures, and it's still thriving today amazing brick and mortar business. So in my head, I'm like, I'm, I, I'm like, I'm good with business. Like I can build a business. That's easy. Okay. Fast forward. I'm stepping into the online space, building a business online. And it's a lot harder than I anticipated. And so guess what? I have gotten stuck in the mud. I have doubted myself. I've almost given up lots of different times, you guys. But thankfully, I have the mindset to know and anticipate that things are hard sometimes. And it is challenging. And I know that there's probably a shift or a pivot that I need to make. And I'm open to that. And I'm open to putting in the grit and hard work. Because again, I've been through challenges before that have been really difficult, and I know that it's just a season. So when you know this, you guys, you don't give up. You push through it. You figure it out. You reach out for help, mentorship, whatever you need to get through and continue moving forward. You don't give up. So it's really how you respond to the struggles when they show up. When you have a team member that kicks back at you um, because they don't like something you implemented in the salon. Well, is that shocking? People don't like change. So you should anticipate that you're gonna have kickback when you're implementing something new. How are you gonna handle it? What are you gonna do? Anticipate the struggle. Maybe you wanna become an educator and you have to go out and do a lot of free classes and do classes where no one shows up before you get to be in a fully booked class where people are paying lots of money to come see you. Well, there's a struggle to get there. You have to go through the, the points when no one shows up for you to get to the point where people do. And so often we try and avoid all of these little pain points, you guys. We avoid the pain points and we never really get to where we want to go. And if we do, we get there a lot painfully and a lot slower than if we just experience the pain, experience the struggle, navigate through it and move on. And so what I wanna share with you more than anything is that if there is something on your heart, if you have a goal that popped in your head when I said, hey, think of your biggest goal, it's there for a reason. You didn't just come up with that out of thin air, that desire 
was put on your heart for a reason, whether it's a money goal, whether it's an impact goal, whether it's a client goal, whether it's a career goal, like a um, something, a skill goal that you want to become better at, whatever it is, you guys, that desire was put there for a reason. And so don't discount that. Don't give up on it. Just because it gets hard and challenging doesn't mean that you're not good enough to be doing it, that you're not supposed to have that thing. If it's there, if it popped into your mind, it's supposed to be there. So continue to work through it and know that the struggle is going to come at some point. Just because it was there for, and the desire was placed there, doesn't mean it's gonna be easy. Oh, heck no. So anticipate the struggle. So I want you guys to do this as an exercise, is write down the biggest goal that you have right now and list below it the possible things that could get in your way, the challenges that might come up, and how you would work through those challenges. What are the things that you can do? When you get into this mindset space, you guys, it's powerful because your brain goes into problem solving mode. Instead of like focusing on the issue or avoiding it, when you're in avoidance, you're kind of just like hiding. When you actually confront the issues that could come up face to face, your brain gets into problem solving mode and it's a powerful exercise you guys you're way more um, you're stronger than you think you're smarter than you think you're more strategic than you think you're more talented than you think so take the time to do this this is one of the best exercises that you can do um, that will help propel you forward you guys so take whatever strategy that you've learned whatever you're working towards and use this to anticipate and strategize through the struggle that you are currently anticipating that you are going to anticipate because you know that at some point the struggle is going to show up and you're not going to give up you're not going to back down you're not going to shrink back you're not going to stay mediocre you're going to actually push through that and you're gonna excel through it and get to your goal because you have anticipated. So you guys, I hope that this podcast episode was a different perspective for you, that this actually prepares you in a way that maybe just gaining knowledge doesn't. This prepares you in a way that's actually gonna help you push through some of the adversity that's gonna come your way as you're reaching for your big goals, as you're reaching for your greatness, as and as you're reaching for your full potential. You guys, I believe in you. I know that there's you're only just getting started. You've only just tapped the surface of what you think that you're capable of doing. And my challenge for you is to dig deeper, dig deeper deeper and dig into what was really inside of you and what you really want to achieve and stop playing small. Stop playing small. Stop avoiding the challenge. Stop avoiding the struggle and stop playing small. Play a bigger game. I love you guys so much. Oh, and if this episode was encouraging for you guys, pass it on. If you feel ignited and excited about something, that you are able to push through something, that my belief in you gave you enough, mustered up enough belief in yourself that you're able to kind of move forward, you guys pass this blessing on to somebody else. If you feel encouraged, the most simplest thing that you can do right now is press the share button or go on and leave a review so that this podcast gets out to more people. You guys, these are simple things. This is a completely free platform. No um, uh, commercials, whatever, like ads. I don't do that, right? I'm like here showing up for you. So show up to the plate for the people that you love, the people that are in your world. Send them the encouragement. Press the share button. Go on and like and review the podcast. Have an amazing day. I'll see you guys in the next episode.